So here we are in Santiago, Chile. And tomorrow we get to pick up motorcycles from Ducati. Literally we were in Quito and got the call. It's two from Ducati saying like you're in. Like you guys got two bikes. And we were jumping up and down. We get to go pick up our motorcycles tomorrow and <sighs> And then we hit live it. the dream. Very exciting. Oh my god, this is just crazy what's happening. Right now. These are the bikes. This is my bike. This next bike. It's a Ducati Monster. It's a 821. Got a lot of juice. I'm gonna get real comfortable pretty soon, me and this girl. Basically, I'm gonna look like Batman for the next three weeks. She's not my girlfriend, but she'll do. Justin, we're back. <laughs> Uno, dos, tres. Ahí está. Nick and Justin just kind of charged on. As soon as they got their bikes from Ducati, there was no way that they were gonna wait very long. I waited at the airport for about four hours trying to talk Avis into getting me the automatic car that we asked for, and it's not here. Uh, it's supposed to be here tomorrow morning, but it put me a little bit behind the guys. I talked to Nick a little bit ago. They're having an epic first day. Uh, they got pulled over already uh, with a motorcycle gang and have kind of latched on with them. You ran out of gas? Yeah, bro. First day, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, our phones are almost dead. We're almost, we've ran out of gas twice now. Uh, I think this is a uh, never-ending theme for this trip of just pulling it out of our fucking ass. And uh, luckily these guys have a Pose for us to get gas. Do Dragon Ball! <laughs> this is the funniest day ever. A long struggle with Avis. Um, finally have a car. Gonna get out of here and ride for about seven hours to Zapala tonight. Um, sleep for a few hours, wake up and ride to Paraloche. We still have no Drew. Drew is nowhere. He's probably getting a tattoo in Mendoza. He's getting a tattoo saying, says, I bailed on the boys. I bailed on the boys. I sold all their clothes Ooh. so I could buy a pack of Cooler's Light. Exactly. These trips are a lot of metaphors for things. The fact of ride, what we take on these trips, who we have on these trips, and what happens to us on these trips, each person as a whole. So you start with what you think you need, and what you have around you, and what you do on these trips. And as we got further and further down south, I kind of realized that we're becoming completely naked, to the point where we're really, really utilizing just our own selves and what we actually need to use, not what we actually want to use. I think that it's ironic that we started this journey with five, and now it's just me and Nick. <laughs> Maybe it's just because we're the only two that are nuts enough to be here doing this for no good reason. This trip is just about losing every layer that you just don't need and just becoming into yourself with what you actually are okay to have. 
we're passing guys that are going on three day trips with full luggage and they're looking at us like we're going for an afternoon roll, stroll but we're on a month long trip with nothing on our bikes. When we lose pieces of things, sometimes we do think that we have an emotional attachment or some kind of investment in this piece. But that piece could be something where it actually lightens you and makes you a better person once you lose that piece. Whether that's a piece of clothing, sunglasses, a friend, a motorcycle, money, your dignity, it could be anything. It literally something that makes you just have a shift with yourself. It's just coming into fruition for us of what this trip is really all about. And I think it was something that we were really set to do in our life. I think there's some things in life where you're really set to do something and you really don't know why or what's the point of it. And that was the real question when we first started this trip. It's like, what the fuck is the point of all of this? It's just about really learning what you really need in life and what you really want. The search for simplicity in a complicated way. Patagonia is, is something very spiritual, something very enchanting. Just letting go of the bullshit. I drove all the way through the night and I was able to connect with Justin and Nick and they are good and uh, now I'm going to them about four hours away in San Carlos de Bar Barloche. Nick, his tire is dead. This is day three and Nick's tire's got, it's about 150 miles to blowing up and the guy said, I said, hey man, can you help us out try to find a new tire? And he said, Oops, replace it, buddy. Should be a place for tires. Make sure they know what they're doing. Hola. Marco. It's Justin Chatwin. Oh, good, brother. How are you? Nice to meet you, too. We, lo we love your bikes. Mucho rapido. <laughs> Mucho rapido. One tire on the monster is morte. Did, but no mechanic has the tool to put the tire on. Who has it? It's possible to find this socket in Bariloche. Perfecto, and, and muchos gracias for uh, letting us borrow these bikes. They're so much fun. Everyone in, everyone in Argentina looks at them like they're purple dinosaurs. Very exotica. Okay, thank you, brother. Buenos dias. We went to five stores this morning and Nick was riding around with a tire around his shoulder and we went from this side to that side to this side to that side to this side in four hours now and nothing. We're gonna look like tools the fact that we keep on abandoning our motorcycles and getting on new ones whenever we have a problem. It's, it's basically the same pattern I have with women. I get a problem with my girlfriend and I just move on to the next one. And I, so I'd like to face my problems and maybe evolve on this trip somehow. Nobody's stupid, as, stupid enough to take a Ducati road bike to the end of the world because everyone rides adventure bikes with dirt bike tires. And we're riding everything wow. but adventure bikes because we're morons. Oh, good. I met John here in Santiago watching the Chiefs game and we've brought him along for the ride. These guys are insane. That's absolutely uh, certain. And uh, this trip has got to be amazing so far but I don't think it could get any crazier. No, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 300. 300. Okay. Muchas gracias. No, I'll take this. Yes. Perfecto. We are on our way, man. Ready to charge and break these motherfucking things. Yeah, let's get dirty. Motherfucking Ducat. She a dirty, dirty girl. She. We're back. We're better than ever. We're better than ever. 
combining one unicorn into two. We figured out how to get terminal velocity down the highway. We needed more weight. So now Justin and I are going to share a bike. Who needs two when you got one? <laughs>